Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with something pretty darn interesting. Dino Mike Mac recently pointed me in the direction of some brand new Mattel Jurassic World bootlegs that are out. And uh, some of them are of the T-Rex, which they don't look that great. They almost look just like the Mattel Rex, but a little bit cheaper. Then there was this one. This one is the Indominus Rex. And this one was intriguing enough because it honestly has a bit of a different look compared to the Mattel version. But it is still very obviously a Mattel bootleg. Like, not only have they stolen the overall appearance to it and everything, they've also stolen some of the gimmicks and action features for this figure compared to the original Mattel version. But it was still, again, just so unique, so different, and kind of cool to see a new version of an Indominus Rex out, even though it is, again, a bootleg, or seems to be. I mean, uh, if it's not a straight-up bootleg, which it very clearly to me looks to be, except for the head, again, seems a bit different, then it was very clearly based on the Mattel version and meant to profit off of being similar to the Mattel version. But regardless, we're going to jump to a closer look and we'll check this figure out from there. So when you start up here at the head sculpt of the Indominus Rex, you can very much so see the overall likeness of the Indominus, but you can also see again that it looks a bit different than the Mattel version, like the overall uh, shape of the head looks different, the skin texture looks different. It's not quite as nice as we would see with the Mattel versions, but it's very clearly like painted similarly and looks kind of similar. But you can see the detail of the face actually looks fairly decent you know they did like an all right job on the amount of detail included it looks fairly vibrant i don't know for sure exactly where they got the head sculpt from or if maybe it was initially the mattel version and then they've uh, altered it significantly which is possible but it honestly doesn't look terrible i will say that it looks a lot closer i would think to the second release of the indominus compared to the first version when i was looking at the first version a little bit ago next to it i feel like the differences are just like pretty significant they don't look very similar at all but you can see again we've got like a light gray tone and then you've got some darker tones showing up in a few areas you also have an orange eye with a dark brown pupil rather than a black pupil but uh, as you move down, you can see the teeth are painted and uh, painted with a yellowish tone. They're also sculpted individually. And then when you open the mouth, you randomly have a rubber tongue in there, which as you can see is actually quite hilarious that it like just moves the way it does. It's really funny to me. But as you can see, the detail on the inside of the mouth is pretty generic. There's not really a whole lot going on in there. You do have a pinkish tone, but it just doesn't look that great. And then you have the grayish tone for the back there of the inside of the mouth and a tongue, a wiggly wiggly tongue just sticking out looking ridiculous. But again, as you move up here into the top of the head, you'll also notice that there is a speckling on the figure that is also very similar to what you usually see with Mattel releases. As you move down the course of the neck, you can see we've got, I guess, what technically should be quills, but look more like ridges on this version. Moving down along the back of the neck, you've got the osteoderms, and again, some decent scale detail. You also have some skin wrinkles here on the underside. There's not really much else as far as color variation. When you move through the figure, like usually with the Mattel versions, you have like some darker brown moving along the back you don't really have that or even darker grays but you don't really have that going on with this one basically it's just from this point forward the light gray with the speckling and that's really about it uh, except for the nail paint but as you move through again you can see the detail looks pretty decent but the body I'm not entirely sure if it's exactly the same as the Mattel version we'll have to take a look here in just a moment but again, you've got like some creasing in the skin down there. You can see the arms also feature some decent muscle definition as well as the quills in very Mattel style. They're sticking off of the back of the arm. You can see that the hands are sculpted pretty decently. Again, you've got the fingers sculpted nicely. The nails are really long, like that middle nail is really, really long, but no nail paint on the hands. So it almost is like they were taking a page out of the book of Mattel. And it actually continues, but gets worse as you move down into the feet because you can see the toenails are painted but the dew claw is skipped, so they really were basing this significantly off of the Mattel version. But you can see, again, you've got scoots moving down the toes. You have the speckling that's really quite strong, honestly, through the entire figure as you move through. The leg sculpt definitely doesn't look like Mattel to me, because Mattel's leg sculpt is far nicer when it comes to the detail compared to what we see on this kind of washed-out, 
awkward looking detail that we have on this version but as you move back into the tail you can again see the detail picks up and it looks again as nice as it has through the course of the rest of the figure you do have some articulation in the tail you actually have one spot here that doesn't really move a whole lot but then you've got another spot here that can go side to side as you move out and then you end in a tip that actually has a slightly different tone of color compared to the rest of the figure. But as you move along the underside, you can see this button here actually releases the tail. And something that, you know, some people have said in the past that they wish Mattel could do, and that's release the tail of their figure so you can disassemble them because at times they're huge. But this one can actually do that. But as you move along, you can see a battery compartment for the underside showing you that this does make noises and actually lights up. But when you come over here, it's almost like Hasbro took the Mattel Indominus and then shot it like crazy crazy because we are littered with the hasbro like screw holes everywhere and when i say littered i mean like there are tons you can see just in the neck alone i could see four moving back into the body like there are so many on this figure it looks absolutely terrible from this side of the figure but there's not really a whole lot different over here compared to the first side outside of the positioning of the legs is again a little bit different as the legs leading on this side trailing on the other side but the neck and head and everything is sticking straight out the only other big difference would be the fact that we are just completely overloaded with screw holes so let's go ahead check the Mattel version out next to this one so first of all, one thing you can see is that both of these figures are very similar in size to each other. Uh, I would say almost the same size, except the Mattel version definitely has some length to the tail, whereas the bootleg version does not. You can also see the legs are positioned in the same way, but we can instantly tell, again, looking at them, uh, this figure is just honestly a mystery to me because it's so much so looks like a Mattel bootleg but some areas definitely are not like I said the legs you could tell the legs were not Mattel because if let's get close actually just to inspect it a little bit better and show it off a little better it's hard to really do this but uh, when you see the two legs together you can see how much more impressive and vibrant the detail is as well as very obvious scale detail on the Mattel version whereas this is just like super cheap and generic looking so I could instantly tell that that was not Mattel no doubt about that but as you move down into the foot sculpt you can definitely see the foot sculpt as well as not Mattel the foot sculpt on this bootleg version is way more generic and just random theropod ish whereas as the foot sculpt of the Mattel version genuinely looks like the Indominus foot sculpt. That's definitely one difference. One thing that I think, again, looks uh, way more similar would be the arms when it comes to the Mattel version compared to this bootleg version. Like the quills are, if we can turn these, not really positioned the same way. Like they don't show up exactly. No, not in the same patterning. Like even the quills are a little bit different, but Again, these figures are always such a mystery to me because even though like when you just first look at these two, you could easily be like, wow, that's definitely a bootleg of the Mattel version. But when you actually look close, again, there's just so much different. Even like the cluster, it's like they looked at the Mattel version and then maybe they just took it and altered it or they just based their figure severely on the Mattel version. I really can't tell because you can see like a little cluster of larger scales here. You see that on the Mattel version, but they just look so much better. They're also positioned very differently on the Mattel version. And when you look at the body types, again, you can see similar where we have like the nice finer scale detail. You have the same thing going on with the bootleg version. And then you have the larger osteoderms, but all positioned differently. And again, uh, very different looking as far as the way it looks. You know, from the untrained eye, it would look very much so like these are definitively bootlegs. But when you get nice and close, again, I'm not as confident. Even the way that the stomach is shaped, like you have the same similar creasing. You have that here. Uh, kind of coming from a different position but then when you look at the way the stomach runs down here it's very different compared to this version if we take a look at the top and the way that the uh, ridges and everything look you can see the ridges moving down the center of the spinal column of the Mattel version is very different compared to the more generic looking versions on this bootleg type version and there's also a line of ridges moving along each side of the spinal column ridges on the Mattel version we don't have that with the bootleg version, I mean, you kind of do, but they're very small. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's very interesting. I can definitely say that. If we actually go in and take a look at the head sculpts, you can see, let's reposition the camera just a little bit, but you can see the head sculpts 
again, painted very much so the same. They clearly took the same route as Mattel when it comes to the paint and added it to pretty much look exactly the, like Mattel's. But like the head sculpt of Mattel's looks so much more accurate than this very generic looking version that we have on this one. And uh, the teeth also look way better on Mattel's, whereas these are also quite generic. So I don't know. I mean... Honestly, even the back of the necks are quite different. I can't tell if this one maybe is bootlegged from Mattel, then they have done some drastic, you know, work to it to make it look different. But if it's not taken from the Mattel Indominus, then I really don't know who they would have taken this one from or if it is, in fact, an original creation as far as the sculpt goes. I can't tell. Very clearly, though, you can see, again, there are some significant differences between this Indominus and the bootleg version or potential bootleg version. So I don't really know. I mean, if, again, it is a bootleg, it was definitely altered severely compared to the original Mattel release. And if it is, in fact, an original figure, then... Again, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, as they say, and you can very clearly see where they got their inspiration from for this figure, and it's going to get worse here as we move on. If we bring in the original version of the Indominus from Mattel, you can now see the head sculpts here again. Don't look very similar at all, if you ask me. Again, I mean like very slightly, but super different style texturing. Even the shape of the snout is different. The amount of ridges moving over the top of the head, very different. The lack of quills replaced with ridges and stuff. But again, they could have just done a whole lot of work to this figure compared to the Mattel version. But there is one area that does actually kind of look a little bit similar to me, and that would be the backs. You can see the backs kind of look similar, where we have like a line of ridges moving down the back, down the center, and then not as many on the sides as we had on the newer version of the Indominus that was compared with this. So I don't know. I mean, I think it's up in the air on this one. You have to... Uh, probably decide for yourselves if you believe that this is in fact a bootleg or not from the Mattel version but as I said if it's not a bootleg which I can't say definitively though it looks very similar uh, then it was just severely severely influenced by the Mattel version but I've gone ahead and dimmed the lights a little bit because once we activate these action features you are going to see uh, some lights on the figure. So first of all, we've got one button up here, which if we push this You've got a few different noises there and as you can see just like the older Mattel Indominus it does light up in the neck and actually the body a little bit as well so very clearly they have stolen both an action feature and a light up feature from Mattel there is also another button back here which if we push that again the lights continue almost like uh, epic attack style where they just keep lighting up but you can obviously hear some different noises there Hard to tell exactly how many were in there but there were definitely a few so you've got some interesting action features some interesting sounds interesting light up aspects for the figure you can also articulate the arm forward and back and also out away from the body a little bit the elbow does articulate you know kind of forward and back and also swivels so you've got some extra articulation there you can articulate the neck but it's very very limited not much in the way of that and then of course you've got the legs forward and back that's about as far back as it goes you do also have swivel ankles so again articulation style completely copied from Mattel and we have already gone over the articulation of the tail but as far as the size goes let's bring the lights back up a little bit here and we'll check out the size for a length you are looking at from the snout to the tail about 20 and a half inches. The tail doesn't want to stay exactly in the right spot. So I'd say about 20 and a half inches or 52 centimeters. And then for a height, in the position it's currently in about 7 inches or 18 centimeters. But of course you could position it up higher if you chose to. But you obviously have already seen a comparison with two of the different Mattel Indominus. So we'll just do one more comparison. 
And that would be with our usual review comparison suspects as we have Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect A Human Being next to our bootleg Indominus to give you one final idea of a size. So honestly, this one is a bit of a mystery to me. I mean, just looking at it, I would definitely say it is a Mattel bootleg and I kind of still feel like it is, but at the same time, I feel like they like put a lot of work into transforming the figure from this appearance to you know, looking more like its own individual release. If, in fact, it is not a bootleg, then I do apologize to whoever created it, but it sure seems like it. But one thing that is for sure is Mattel should certainly be flattered because, again, they took pretty much everything when it comes to Mattel and used it for themselves. The coloration is pretty much spot on to what Mattel does with their Indominus, minus the fact that we don't have a darker tone moving along the back briefly, even to the point where the nails of the hands aren't painted, but the nails of the feet are and the dew claws are skipped and the, again the same style of paintwork even the same tone for the teeth i would say are applied to this indominus but we do have different areas on this one that are a little different from mattel like the rubber goofy tongue that we have inside the mouth but overall the you know visual of this indominus could very easily be mistaken for mattel if in fact it is its own original sculpt it is super close to what Mattel's looks like. On top of that, you do have, again, the same type of articulation, the same type of action features, and same light-up feature that we've seen on previous Mattel figures. So there is that that's going for it. Again, more Mattel imitation, I would say. I don't really know exactly if those noises were the Indominus. I didn't pay much attention when I was actually making the noises of the dinosaur to pay attention to whether or not they were actually sounds from Jurassic World and the Indominus. I'll have to go ahead and do that again after i'm done with the review but it does have quite a few different sound effects going for it which is again kind of interesting like when it comes to a bootleg they did put a lot of effort into this one it's just still very cheap looking and once you turn the figure around and look at all of those screw holes on the other side you're really going to see that again you know the cheapness in all its glory but Either way, this, like I said, quite the interesting release. I am very, very unsure about this one. But if you are interested, I will include a link in the description to where you can actually purchase this on AliExpress if you would like to add one to your collection. So make sure you check that link, grab it if you want it, and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.